First, the foreign ministers of ASEAN and EU foreign minister met online to discuss the cooperation and regional issues, including the fight against COVID-19 and security in the South China Sea. First, Singapore Foreign Minister Vivian Balakrishnan spoke about how the cooperation between ASEAN and the EU is important during these unprecedented times. Take a look. We last met at the ASEAN-EU Ministerial Video Conference on COVID-19, which we convened on the 20th of March, 2020. Uh, four or five months have passed incredibly quickly. And since then, the global COVID-19 situation has actually worsened significantly. And needless to say, it has severely disrupted how if work and even travel. ASEAN has stepped up our efforts to address the pandemic, both as an organization and also with our key partners. The ASEAN-EU Ministerial Video Conference yeah, on COVID-19 was our first video conference with a dialogue partner on COVID-19 and it paved the way for us to leverage technology to continue meeting with and engaging key partners. Despite the challenging circumstances, ASEAN and the EU have still managed to work on new areas of cooperation to deepen our ties. So you joint ministerial statement on connectivity, which we hope to issue at the 23rd ASEAN-EU ministerial meeting at the end of this year. This is particularly timely, as the COVID-19 pandemic has demonstrated the importance of preserving supply chain connectivity and upholding a rules-based multilateral trading system. Even as we explore new areas of engagement, we should ensure that we continue to make progress on our existing priorities. First, we should keep working towards the formal elevation of ASEAN-EU relations to a strategic partnership. Second, we are nearing the finishing line and concluding the ASEAN-EU Comprehensive Air Transport Agreement expeditiously. And this would be a capstone for our discussions on strengthening connectivity. This would bring tangible benefits to our people and a much needed boost to our currently decimated travel and tourism industries as we gradually resume safe travel in order to support our economies and resume connectivity. Third, concluding discussions on an ASEAN-EU free trade agreement would further cement EU status as one of ASEAN's top economic partners and create more opportunities for both sides as we recover from the impact of the pandemic. Excellencies, in an increasingly uncertain global landscape, it is absolutely imperative for ASEAN and the EU, as the two leading regional organizations in the world, to send a very strong signal of our commitment to forge closer collaboration.